Anda kembali dalam Tech Conference 2021 dengan tema Future 5G Global Connectivity, Cloud Computing, and Internet of Things. Dan kami akan menghadirkan pembicara selanjutnya dan telah bergabung bersama saya di studio Bapak Syuris Subramaniam, Chief Technology Officer PT Smart Friend Telecom Tbk. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you today? Do you feel uh, okay and with the presentation? Yeah, very good, very good. And okay, I, uh, okay. Good uh, welcoming here. Yeah, Thank because you very much. all of all of the viewers would really, really see uh, what can they uh, get with the presentation. So please, with your presentation, Pa Suris. Yep. Thank the you stage very much. Is yours. So yeah, so I will start my slide with uh, you know, we in Smart Friend always do the open the possibilities. Yeah, anything also can be done. That's how we always you know position ourselves. Now I'll talk a little bit about the connectivity. We talk connected world. So it started with us linking the computers. Yeah, we link computers to improve efficiency between uh, each of us. Then we moved on to linking pages. That's the web, the www. You know. Then we move on to linking data, which is in the cloud computing and so on. Now we are looking at linking things. You know, so that's where we see the importance of 5G. You know, so that will actually will do an exponential growth to the economy. You know. so and, and obviously this morning, Pak Menteri also mentioned you know, there's an impact to GDP if we do it, execute it well. So that's the journey of this uh, connected world. Then moving on, what is 5G? I think Parmentri also mentioned there's three things important for 5G. One is the what we call for consumer. What it means for the consumer is the high data rate. You know, the speed you get in 5G is much higher than 4G. Then with that, what you can do, you can watch more high resolution videos on your mobile or in any anything that's connected to 5G. Plus, now you know the popularity of gaming, you know, in mobile gaming. So that is also possible with 5G. You can play among your friends in a very low latency uh, environment. Okay. Then moving on, the next is the connectivity, massive connection. You know, you, you, had, you take a, a, a township, multiple lights, street lights or multiple parking Spots need to talk to a cloud computing uh, uh, processing. So, so I think that's also one area that 5G will come in place. And finally, the last one is where the latency related. Very low latency. Remote surgery. The doctor can be in the hospital operating someone in, in somewhere else. You know, or it can be in a house operating in another surgery theater. You know? So I think those are the things that 5G will come in and change the way we do things. Now, moving on, that is technology. Then we relate the technology to what is it in, uh, you know, in reality. So you see in the y-axis, those are throughput, those speed-related use cases. And then on the x-axis is the latency. The more you go to the right, the lower the latency you need. You know? So for example, the lower side is the remote surgery. So if the doctor moves his hand, the robot on the other side has to move almost at the same speed, right? So I think those are the latency related. Now the throughput related are the videos. You know, you, in a high resolution, you need higher speed. So that's plus you go towards the right and we come to AR, VR in mobility. You need high speed, low latency, you know? So you see the movement in your screen you are actually playing with another friend, like almost real time, but you are not in the same place. So I think those are the few use cases that is going to come in place for 5G. It's not just normal WhatsApp or, or whatever we do now, we can do in 4G, you know? so this is beyond. So that's how we relate what is 5G is all about. Yeah. Now, as I said, 4G initiated the digital life, 5G will take it to the next level, you know, as well as start rev revolutionizing the industry yeah, for 
Now, if you look at the world, so the colors are getting darker and darker. That means more countries are already introducing 5G. You can see many operators are already launched. So around, I think Parmantri also mentioned this morning, 157 commercially launched 5G in 62 countries. So it's really growing in a very fast rate. And then I think Parmantri also said, Indonesia also started already since May. Now we look at the global top operators. What do they do in 5G? So the more you see the tick, that means that particular use case is more popular for 5G. So the first one you see the mobile 5G. That means they use it for their handphones. Almost all operator has done it. You know? So the most popular for consumer is the mobile 5G, the gaming, mobile gaming, and the fixed wireless access. So fixed wireless access means there are area the cable cannot reach to the house, right? There are challenges for multiple reasons. That's where this 5G will come as a wireless connectivity to the home. So you'll have home broadband without fiber, but through 5G. So there are, those are the areas where it's also growing. Now for the enterprise, which will be the most powerful use cases for 5G, we can see, you can see smart hospital. It's almost thick at every operator already. So it's growing quite fast. Many people need attention, you know, and this will help to improve the way we handle the medical things. And drones, you know, drones for various reasons is growing very rapidly. Okay, so I think there are clearly many use cases for 5G and 5G is critical to bring us to the next level. Now, some of the B2C, uh, business to and retail use cases we see, mostly on the speed. You know, like China Mobile, they actually introduced different tier of speeds. You know, same as Elisa, who is also having different tier of speeds. I think this is one use case. As I said, what you can do in mobile, using the speed, you watch high resolution video, or you play the, you know, the high games, you know, high popular games that needs uh, high speed and low latency. You know? Now going to the B2B use cases, the most common, as I said, there are area fiber cannot reach to the house or even to the buildings. Then we'll use 5G. You can see the number of connections increases the moment you bring 5G to connect. Because cable has, you cannot enter, right? So you have to use 5G. 5G to enter. So this one use case where STC in Saudi Arabia has grown uh, big. The next use case is the smart bus. Now security is very important. So there are CCTV inside the bus, monitored by a control center, what's happening inside the bus. For example, you can have inside the train or any public uh, vehicles, you know. So then you can monitor them. This unit needs high connectivity as well as high low latency. So we can exactly see what's happening and do what is necessary if any unwanted situation happens. Then the final one is the smart manufacturing. So we use 5G to automate, which increase the efficiency and reduce the failure rate. And this will improve uh, in a big wave the productivity of each of the factories. So I think these are real cases that those operators have successfully demonstrated and I think monetized these services. Now we come to the reality where we stand, you know, in Indonesia. There's also a guidance from Cominfo how we should, you know, uh, introduce 5G in a, in a right way. So the guidance is looking at the industry 4.0, right? So for that, I think it's very clear, Industry 4.0, to build a digital infrastructure, 5G is a mandatory. I think Parmentry made it very clear today, and I think there's a way to go, but there's also five elements he, need, he mentioned. One is the regulatory, second is the spectrum, third is the business model, 
the fourth he mentioned about the infrastructure and the ecosystem. So I think this all has to come in place. Then I think Indonesia is not very far to achieve this uh, guidance that is set by Cominfo. You see. And us operator, we have to make sure we design everything following this requirement. Now come to smart friend, you know, who are we? You know? So we started our journey as a CDMA operator. You know, uh, we were operating CDMA for a long year. Then we, we do not have this, uh, the 2G, 3G, what we call baggage. We reformed the whole CDMA, we moved to LTE. So if you ask today in Indonesia, the only operator fully modernized infrastructure is smart friend because we are full 4G only network. So we started with basic 4G. Two years later, we introduced 4G advanced with a lot of uh, carrier aggregation. Then finally, now we are looking into what 5G can bring us. Now, as I said, the 4G based network will always be there. That's why you see the basic service like voice, data, SMS, handset, any handset you choose, you can insert the SIM and it will work. You know, and some enterprise services will always be there. Now, on top of it, those in the yellow font are those 5G use cases which we will start introducing. And I think uh, those are very critical use cases, not only co for convenience, but also to grow the GDP to a certain extent. So that's where we are now, and we have started some journey on 5G, which I will share in the next slide. Um, we tried to take the initiative with uh, Cominfo to get some trial license. So we were given a, a trial license in uh, 2019, April. With that, we went on to demonstrate what is 5G for industry. You know, we went to Marunda factory and, and set up an infrastructure and showed some use case which actually took a lot of attention, even Cominfo team was there, the gen was there, as well as the factory directors were there. They were impressed to see this. You know? So I would like to see the video uh, on what we did there. Can we play the video? So basically, we uh, demonstrated the drone using 5G, entering a, a factory area to identify the fault where people cannot enter easily. See? So the drone could go in using 5G and report the problem. So that was the, the use case. And I think it was adopted well. And the type of speed that we demonstrated went to up to 8.4 Gbps. Along with the drone, it, it, it kind of, you know, showed the, the reality. So going back here, now the next we did was uh, moving the whole slides that I showed just now, and there are many use cases, AR, VR, remote monitoring. We bring it to our gallery in Sabang you know, to demonstrate what else 5G can do. We, we simulated an environment, and uh, later on I will show some of the video there. And then where we are now, we are trying to do a trial on 5G for area where there's no fiber. You know, people in a housing area needs internet, but they couldn't get fiber. So we will ensure that we demonstrate that very soon, next quarter. And then finally, as what Pramantri said, the spectrum, they are working very hard to try to reform the spectrum to award to the necessary operator so that we can go 5G in a big wave, the real 5G. So until then, we have done whatever we can by in the learning process. So I would say we are very much ready to welcome the right spectrum and do the right demonstration, uh, right use cases for the community. So we'll see the video before I end, uh, what we have done in the gallery. Yeah. Can we play the video, please?
So I think you saw what we have demonstrated. We have demonstrated the real ecosystem where you could see the 5G uh, signal. Plus you also would have seen the, the VR glasses that uh, our Cominfo uh, directors used to demonstrate the remote uh, operations as well as we have shown all the CPEs to support the fixed wireless access. So I think 5G is real, it's just there, so we are ready. As, long, as soon as we get the right spectrum, then we will ensure we go in a big wave. So please watch out for what SmartFriend will offer in 5G very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Shiris. It is really, really interesting information, especially about what can smart friend 5G do with the technology. Right. I think we can uh, talk even more further about this on the next segment, yeah. but now we have to catch a break. Thank you. Thank you. Dan kembali saya ingatkan kepada para pemirsa untuk mengirimkan pertanyaan ke nomor WhatsApp 0812-1299-0001 karena 8 orang penanya yang beruntung berkesempatan mendapatkan e-voucher senilai total 3 juta rupiah dari Ultra Voucher. Tech Conference 2021 mengusung tema Future 5G, Global Connectivity, Cloud Computing, and Internet of Things akan kembali usai jeda berikut ini. Tetaplah bersama kami. Jangan lupa untuk install aplikasi CNBC Indonesia di App Store dan juga di Play Store untuk terus mengikuti informasi dan berita terkini terkait ekonomi dan juga bisnis.